Do you want something? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but... He doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Wine, a roan and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. God be with you. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well... Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. God be with you. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I... Sing to him. You sing to him? What? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May to graze in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. 
I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Vasek. That sounded like... Oh, I'd love to get something to read. Could do with a bite to eat. My respect to you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. I'd venture that would be a waste of time. Your esteemed merchant is probably long gone. Gambling and whoring away the coin he got from selling your stone. If there's no other way, then replace the stone with something else. Very well, as you wish. Naturally, we take responsibility for the loss and will compensate Lady Stephanie when we see her again. You can come for the crown tomorrow evening. God be with you. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Such a shame you couldn't find the Moldavite. It's rather lacklustre without it. Good health to you. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noblewoman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help.
Stay. I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I do. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Good day to you. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, and um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you won, I need it. Not a chance. I want it fairly. You don't want to disappoint Lady Stephanie of Talmberg and her courier, do you? Lady Stephanie, you say? I've always liked her ladyship. Mm. You know what, then? Take the keg. And please give her my respectful greetings. be praised. What's on your mind? I've brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> to horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Wait, there was supposed to be a large Moldavite placed here. What's this? The Moldavite got lost along the way from Prague. I arranged for it to be replaced with something else. Ah, I understand. Even so, Henry, I'd prefer to decide on such matters myself. So, what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. 
You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me, as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right then. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but... They did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. 